And I must say, this stadium falls and they must visit category for any football fan should the chance come his or her way. Anfield is the venue. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It is Liverpool, and they face Al Nasser. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Mohamed Salah plays with Diogo Jota in the wide positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. Jota. How about the cross? And Diogo Jota, a player with the ability to turn any game on his own. Stewart, what part might he play in this match? defenders Derek hate playing against players with pace and he's got plenty of pace to run in behind he does it cleverly he comes short then spins in behind and then he's 1v1 against the goalkeeper and he usually finishes it off in with a chance well, pressing really high untidy on the ball and the flag is up Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Abdullah Al Khaybari. Alvaro. Plenty of options. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Clean challenge. Salah. And the corner has been given. And the substitution will occur now. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Abdullah Al Khaybari. And unable to keep the ball. They could nudge in front. And there it is. 1 0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Ayman Yahya. Here's Ronaldo. 
Anderson Tariska. Ronaldo! They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And Ronaldo made the finish look so easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Diogo Jota. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Well, not really too many opportunities for Mo Salah to show us class in this game, Stuart. Well, the service to him hasn't been good, but he hasn't exactly been busting the gut to find space, has he? He needs to work much harder to affect the game and start testing this goalkeeper. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Really good challenge. Running with the ball confidently. The cross is on. Henderson. It's got to be. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Delivering it. And the problem not completely solved. And the keeper more than equal to the task. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. And there's the delivery. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again. And you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. And that brings to an end the first half. So back underway here into the second half. Anderson Taniska, he's in with a chance. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2.
Ronaldo. Can he put them in front? Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Fabinho. Gakpo. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And he's in the clear. Well, he was on his own. He had the goalkeeper to beat, but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. Thirty minutes to go, then. Good tackle. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. The goal from Salah. It's strange when he doesn't score these days. Well, let's take another look. And you have to say the defending is so poor. That's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. the action underway once more and no shortage of entertainment 3-2 Sami al Najai, Abdul Rahman Gharib this is Salah Liverpool have given it away And into the last 20 minutes. Just cutting off the supply. Will he find the net? Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. And intercepts again. No space for them here. Robertson. Here's Fabinho. Well, he didn't plant the seed of fear on the goalkeeper's mind, that's for certain. Luis Gustavo. Well, can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? Gakpo. And room now out on the flank. It is advantage Liverpool here. Is he going to put it away? Save, but still a chance. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Salah. 
An alert piece of defending. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball and then just a few mistakes at the back and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. But he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them.